friends how are you doing all today we are going to study architecture of microcontroller that is 8051 uh, that is used in embedded systems like every embedded system consists of customer built uh, hardware components supported by central processing unit that is cpu which is the heart of the microprocessor or a microcontroller a microprocessor is a stand alone cpu chip and memory and input output ports can be custom designed and expanded microcontroller is a, such a chip that has a cpu and the memory in it and the input output ports in it that can be designed according to our requirement and they can be expanded or they can be compressed okay there is no on chip memory or port on the microprocessor but a microprocessor chip is a single integrated circuit intended to operate for general purpose and can be embedded into embedded electronics hardware a microcontroller is an integrated chip which comes with built in memory input output input output ports timers and other components if we compare microprocessor and microcontroller microprocessor is a single chip in which all these input output ports uh, and uh, different like timers and other components these are externally connected but if we see in microcontroller the memory input output ports timers and other components these are built in that is is uh, it is in internally uh, present in the chip most embedded systems are built on microcontrollers nowadays which run faster than custom building built setup with a microprocessor because all components are integrated within a single chip if we compare again microprocessor and microcontroller and there are many disadvantages of microprocessor first since uh, all the components are externally connected to the microprocessor so it increases the circuit area whereas if we see in microcontroller all these components are inbuilt inside the chip so it's a uh, less it consumes less circuit area this is one point plus as uh, the components are inside the chip so the run time the execution time of any of the instruction is very less whereas in looking to microprocessor the execution of any instruction takes a lot of time so if we compare if we look uh, so we can say that a microcontroller is much preferred and is better as compared to micro uh, processor plus uh, there is a wide variety of microprocessors and microcontrollers available nowadays in the market so we can now see uh, here is a diagram uh, internal uh, i can say internal uh, block diagram of microcontroller 8051 which consists of different blocks like here it is a cpu the cpu uh, and here it is oscillator oscillator that is that is crystal oscillator connected to cpu bus control four input output ports that is p0 p1 p2 p3 plus serial port they have timers and counters then there is a non chip ram on chip rom for, for saving program codes plus internal interrupt control plus uh, here we can give external interrupts we will be looking forward into this now coming to the diagram part description we can say that let's first review the basic concepts of microprocessor or a cpu that is how it works how uh, you have also you have heard about you must have heard about different bit of uh, different uh, bit size of microcontrollers like 8 bit microcontroller 16 bit microcontroller 32 bit microcontroller and 64 bit microcontroller so what do they mean what is the cpu frequency and what does the mips tell that is million instructions per second tells us you will get all the answers here <laughs> 